That's not what he is. He's a jump shooter first. Shaq with 19 points, 17 rebounds in that first meeting against Odin. Tested by Odin, kept alive by Richardson. Played on a switch. Once again, they go inside to O'Neal. Spins his way out of Odin. It counts, and the foul, a strong incentive for Shaquille O'Neal when he goes against rookie Greg Odin. You see the block shot there by Bowden. Here, this is Shaq being Shaq, using that body and size against veterans. Love to kind of put it on the young guys, almost like welcome to the league, young fella. Well, because on the second one, Shaq had Odin under the rim by then. Here's Blake setting it up for Odin. In between, split Shaq in the middle from behind and tried to root him out from that low post area. And Portland head coach Nate McCullum telling us his Odin is set up runs. Can it work with this group? As you see, the setup for Odin, it's a combination of guys. Is to get all of them on the same page. Can it work? Yes, but it's got to be their style. Whatever that might be, they decide on. And you see little jump hook. 80%. He's not taking a lot of shots, but he's definitely making them. And shot has been... Shot clock down to seven. Start him out with a beautiful pass. It counts in the foul. For a second clock at around five. It's really an incredible series there. There's the five, four, three. The interior pass at the end. You got a lob to an interior pass. Blake tries to commit the foul. The NBA game time live. Five minutes gone by in this uh, first quarter. Nash for O'Neal on shot game. Third quarter receiving an enormous ovation when he was introduced right at the start of the game. And Shaquille O'Neal, Barnes and Barbosa have combined for 18 points in this quarter. Shaq with the Sox getting it down in a hurry. Off this pillow. Well, here's the new philosophy. Shaq, just stay down the other end. We'll get it to you. Finish it off with a dunk every time. The teammate of Jason with the Warriors. Here's Stoudemire and a runner. Rebounded by O'Neal with the spin. Backs it home. To kill O'Neal. Second shot opportunity right here. Look at this. Normally he would turn back into traffic right there. Kind of fades away. Nice. And play in the Phoenix backcourt. Here comes Nash. Nash for O'Neal. But what kind of out of bounds defense is this? Steve Nash just runs into the middle, gets the basketball, takes the contact, and gets it to the diesel. Up right there. Here's the, the pocket that's going to be open right in here. So what Nash is going to do is run a little curl move and have the defender on his back as he goes up the court. The defender needs to beat him to the spot, not trail him. The pass goes inside him. Now he's got a head start with the defender behind him, and it's a matter of numbers right now. Shaq's just got to step in. Once he freezes the last defender, here comes the chance now for the finish and three-point play. But coach alive. I, I, honestly didn't, yeah, I didn't see his back to the ball, to be honest. Make it three of five. We pick and roll with him, which means Nate McMillan must have confidence that he can keep the ball in front of him. Oh, Hill off the dribble, able to the court. Greg Oden and able to uh, be on the court for just a total of eight minutes. Nice move by Oden. Thank you. TBS Tuesday. Don't miss the premiere of 10 and, and the basketball. I just like how he has the basketball lined up on the six points. And they've recaptured the lead up by two. Stoudemire. Yes. Damon Stoudemire, who I uh, was fortunate enough to coach yeah. only for part of the season. Oh. Roy, who is 15 of 17 at the line. And Brandon Roy gets in and you see Shaq. Lost the handle, then recovers. Missed the layup. Rebound Roy. And out of work. A spectacular game here.